I think about um, people like uh, Anna Gunther. Right. Um, I think about people like Yosef Aili. Um, I think about people like um, Jacinda Ardern in yeah. politics. Um, these are people who who might not describe themselves um, using quite those words. Um, I think I really, I really respect and admire their ambition, and mm -hmm. I and I respect it because of its source and because of what they wow. they seek what to achieve kind? with that ambition. And I think right. that is um, that is more powerful than speaking about the most ambitious person. Right. I think it's I think it's better to speak about ambition. Who has ambition with purpose? I think my uh, my approach to ambition, my concept of it, has changed significantly. Right. Um, over a period of several years, uh -huh. um, initially I saw ambition as something to be um, not embarrassed about, but it was something you didn't really share. It was right. something you kept inside of you and, and something that you didn't um, bring out to the world, or if you did so, it was quietly to close friends. Right. Um, I think that came from the Kiwi uh, attitude towards not wanting to you know, we take humility, I think Kiwis take humility to the extreme on occasions. Um, and I think that is that is probably detrimental. Mm -hmm. There is something that is really nice and appealing about, um, you know, the fact that successful Kiwis are very humble, and that's mm -hmm. nice. But I think that on the flip side, because we are so almost uh, critical of ambition right from the outset, if right. we know anything about it, I think that holds a lot of people back. And I think right. that people hold that ambition inside and not only do they not talk about it but they also might not act on it. Right. Um, so now I, I view an ambition in an entirely different way and I, know, and I view ambition as a thing to be cultivated and a thing to be encouraged and a thing to be talked about and, and exposed. And of course, you know, it depends what your ambition is. If your ambition right. is to make eight billion dollars and, uh, and run the world, you know, maybe we should have a conversation about that ambition. Yeah. Right. So, are you ambitious? I am. Yeah? Yep, yep, I am. So, why do you think you're this way? Um, I... Uh, is, where does that... What, what ma is that a question about what made me ambitious? Or? Why do you think? Why do you think? Okay, I think I'm ambitious now, and I'm, and I'm happy saying I'm ambitious because of that, that journey that I've been on. Um, right. And uh, so... I had a quiet ambition that I didn't share with a lot of people when I kept it in, and then I achieved that, right. that, and I built upon that, and and I was really, really proud of that. Right. Um, but that success is also something that I keep quite quiet and and, and right. contained, and I don't share that overly much with right. people. Um, and through that journey, I've I've come to see that ambition is good, and it should be acknowledged and talked about. And so, therefore, I think that makes me ambitious. That, I am ambitious that, because that, I believe it's good. That journey has made it into a good word for you. Yeah. Cool. We need to have a conversation in New Zealand about how we view ambition. We need to stop cutting people down so much because they are ambitious. Yeah. Um, we need to foster ambition in our kids and in our young people. And I think that. The first step to start is by is by discussing and acknowledging um, basically how we are at the moment.